I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. Today is Friday, April 24th. Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the souls of Clifford and Janet K. Olson. Our readings and prayers for Mass today come from the memorial of St. Mary Euphrasia Pelletier, Virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Good Shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who granted that Mary Euphrasia walk in the footsteps of the Good Shepherd, graciously grant that we who follow her example on earth may attain the reward held out to the merciful. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. He guides me on right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
When the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for the least brothers of mine, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the memorial of St. Mary Euphrasia, who is the foundress of the Congregation of Our Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd, more commonly known as Sisters of the Good Shepherd. And since 1999, at the order of Archbishop Roach, her memorial has been obligatory here in the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis, and this in gratitude and thanksgiving for the service of the Good Shepherd Sisters to our local church. Mary Euphrasia was born in 1796 on an island off the coast of France uh, where her parents had fled during the, ex, uh, during the French Revolution. Uh, and following the death of her parents, she was sent to live in a convent in the city of Tours. Uh, at the age of 18, she joined the Sisters of Our Lady of Charity there in Tours and received her religious name, Mary Euphrasia. This order, the Order of Our Lady of Charity, cared for girls and women who were in difficulty, some of whom had been abandoned by their families or orphaned. Uh, she had a great and tender care for them. When she turned 29 years old, she became the superior of this convent. And then a few years later, she was asked to open a new convent uh, and a refuge for women. And she used a former convent there, a convent dedicated to the Good Shepherd as the foundation place for the new house. And over the years that followed, new convents and refuges, refuges were opened, uh, and Mary Euphrasia saw the need to organize all of these that were sort of scattered about in a new way, and this led to the establishment of a new religious community, the Sisters of the Good Shepherd. And she served as Mother General of these sisters for 33 years. And by the time she died in 1868, uh, she had established 110 Good Shepherd convents around the world. She was beatified in 1933 and canonized as a saint by Pope Pius XII in 1940. Mary Euphrasia is remembered as a humble woman who could be fearless when she believed she was doing God's will. And she believed that every person was a child of God, loved by God, and always capable of growth and conversion. could say that she is an instrument of that love to God's children in the way she devoted herself to their care, their formation, the way that she was available uh, and ministered to those in need of love uh, and need of help. You could say that Mary Euphrasia fulfilled that call of the Lord in the gospel selected for her memorial by ministering to the Lord, by ministering to others. 
that about covers my knowledge of St. Mary Euphrasia, but given her connection, uh, her order, the Sisters of the Good Shepherd, uh, perhaps she can become for us here at Good Shepherd uh, a patroness. And we might lean into her intercession uh, that like her we can fulfill the command of the Lord to love, to be present to those in need, to spend ourselves for their care. Come, you who are blessed by my Father, and prepare the kingdom prepared for you, and receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. These are words that we too would like to hear, and so we pray that like Mary Euphrasia, we can love Christ by loving others. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let's through this word and one we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in all humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord God, we ask that you accept the gift of our service. Grant that we who commemorate your Son's deed of immense love may be strengthened in our love for you and our neighbor by the example of Mary Euphrasia. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Mary Euphrasia, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. May this be the of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. No followers of mine shall ever walk in darkness. No, they shall possess the light of life, says the Lord. Let us pray. Refreshed by your gift on this happy occasion, we ask, O Lord, that we may grow in true love on earth and be found among your flock in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Euphrasia, pray for us. <laughs> 